This thing rips. Yeah, I'm starting to think I'm a Harley rider sometimes when I'm riding this into town though, man. I'm like kicking my feet out, throwing them back on the pigs. And I feel like I'm like hearing this sound. It just makes you feel like you're on a Harley, but the performance is a lot better. <laughs> now that I have my 2022 Yamaha MT-07 modded with an Akrap Akrapovich carbon full racing exhaust. Also, I removed the stock airbox snorkel and flash tune the bike with the power vision 3 i'm gonna tell you guys is it that much different than stop you're gonna be surprised let's go for a ride subscribe today make sure you're wearing the full gear to stay safe and i have links to my awesome gear if you want to get it like this airbag vest to help keep you safe on the streets my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with an automatic tent shield, motor vlog camera, gloves, all my gear. I include links in the description and comment section of this video. I'm going to tell you this right now. Sound, stock versus modded is night and day. Night and day. This thing sounds like a... Like a... A Harley Davidson, man. <laughs> this thing is so sick. And I tell you that on the highway, it actually performs better now than it did in stock. Stock, it was passable, it was okay, you know, nothing special. But I'm telling you that this thing, look at this, this thing is fun on the highway now, man. <laughs> this thing pulls, man. <laughs> look at this. Boom, boom. Man, this thing has come to life. <laughs> this thing is fun on the highway now, man. Sounds awesome. Now I'm not doing top end 100 mile per hour speeds. But I'm telling you, this thing is absolutely... Look at that. Listen to that sound, man. <laughs> It's awesome. You gotta have some sounds on a bike. It's just like, no matter how fast a bike is, if it has no sound, it's just, I don't know. But I, I have to say that Suron X is fun though. That little electric dirt bike I have is so quick. And it's got that little whiz sound. Uh, so that, you know, electric bikes are different. But I tell you, look at that, see, look at that, boom. Fourth gear. Now fifth gear is nothing still. See, you go fifth gear. It's all right. It's all right. It's improved over stock. Sixth gear. Yes, it has improved, but it's obviously not the best. It's much better. Fourth gear is what you want on the highway. <laughs> Woo! Tell you, this thing is fun on the highway now, man. <laughs> this thing is a hoot, man. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, you have to mod this, but you got to put on the full racing exhaust, guys. And I highly recommend you go with the Akrapovich carbon full racing exhaust. It's got the better improved performance numbers compared to the titanium Akrapovich. And I'll tell you, you want an aftermarket exhaust that has that S bend in the pipe for some back pressure, man. That's what I've been told. I'm not an expert. But I've always stuck to that theory and made sure I got aftermarket exhausts that were set up like that. And I've always had no problems and, and uh, it's been amazing. And I tell you, this, this bike has been transformed into an absolutely, oh my gosh, this, this came out way better than I realized, man. Look at that. <laughs> this thing is a hoot. Man, look at this. This thing rips. <laughs> I mean, it's not a litre bike, but this thing is, is quicker than it was in stock form, man. <laughs> this thing is so fun, man. Oh, my gosh. Definitely thumbs up to the modded MT-07. Now, stock is fun. Don't get me wrong. I had a blast with stock. You don't have to do that to this bike if you don't want to, but if you want to transform this bike even better, 
sounding sicker, performing quicker, gruntier. You want to do the uh, full racing car. And by the way, I have a link to where I got my Akrapovich carbon full racing exhaust if you want to get it. I'm telling you, it's the best place ever to get it. And if you want to get the Power Vision 3, what, what I use to flash tune this bike, which you can do it yourself. And why you want the reason why you want to do it yourself is because you can retain the stock settings. You can always go back. You can put the ECU back to stock, which is cool. And you can do tunes for other bikes. And you can do diagnostics for the bike. There's a lot of different things you can do for it. And it has Bluetooth features. It's really nice, man. I think it's better than getting a power commander because you don't have to carry it on your bike. You just flash it and leave it at home. You don't have to carry it on the bike. Where are you going? Are oh, you going to race, huh? Yeah, this thing rips. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man, this bike is a fool. This is sick. It's unbelievable. I, I did not realize it was, would transform this bike that much better. It's just, this is, it just, you pull on it, it just rips. It's just such a cool, quick bike. Like I said, zero to 100, this is your bike, man. This is your bike. <laughs> it's all, now if you want to do 150 plus, obviously you get the super bikes for that. But I'm telling you, you'll have more fun on this, ripping it in the city, and even on the highway, man. Look at this. <laughs> this thing is so fun, dude. Oh my gosh. Like I said, look at it. Just look at it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys cycle crews at your, uh, your BSN. Uh, no, nah, man, I don't play. If I didn't like this bike like I didn't like the MT-09, I would sell it quick. You know what I'm saying? I love this bike. This is going to be a keeper in the garage, guys. Definitely. Listen. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so sick. Woo! <laughs> I'm telling you, man, what I love about this bike is that you get the full deal out of it. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You can, it's like you use the whole bike, the, all the performance, you use it. It's not like a Lita bike where you're, you're crapping around with the throttle here and there and like I said it's 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 boring riding a fast bike slow it's fun riding a slow bike this is not a slow bike though man this thing is <laughs> look at it I'm telling you this is a quick bike man I'm just oh my this thing is just so sick it's unbelievable Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I went with the Akrapovich exhaust, man. I tell you, you never can go wrong with an Akrapovich exhaust. But anyways, guys, leave a comment below. For those of you that own the MTL 7 with the Akrapovich exhaust, what, what has been your experience going from stock to modded with this exhaust and the flash tune? What, has it been a lot better for you too? I mean, I'm surprised. Like, I did not expect, I, I figured it'd be a little bump. But this thing is, and the sound paired with the extra quickness is, is it makes it even more awesome, man. This, I want to ride this bike all day long, dude. This thing is so sick, man. Like I can literally go, I feel like I can ride this to California, man. Seriously, it's so comfortable. And some of you guys talking about the wind. Man, there ain't no wind problems out here, man. I don't even have nothing on the front, dude. That's what your helmet's for, dude. It gets rid of the wind. <laughs> this thing's awesome, man. So <laughs> sick. Yeah, I'm starting to think I'm a Harley rider sometimes when I'm riding this into town, though, man. I'm like kicking my feet out, throwing them back on the pigs, and I feel like I'm like hearing this sound. It just makes you feel like you're on a Harley, but the performance is a lot better. <laughs> You don't have no big old heavy Harley Davidson. You got this lightweight, quick, fun, amazing hooligan, do it all bike. You can turn this into a little a scrambler. You can turn this into an ADV bike. You can turn this into a track bike. I mean, uh,
Somebody even turned it into a dirt tracker and it looks sick. And of course now you got the R7 to make it a proper track bike. A uh, cruiser. It's like I'm gonna got me a Yamaha Davidson out here. <laughs> Woo! I'm saying, listen to that. It's like you got a Harley. It's comfortable like a cruiser, upright seating position. The mid pegs, it's like a cruiser. Your, your legs aren't jacked up in the back, you know, like some of the super nakeds and, and the super bikes and some of the sport bikes. Very comfortable. This is just an amazing bike, man. I can't say enough. I don't know why I'm sorry, guys, but I'm just, it's unreal, man. I didn't expect to, uh, to love this MTL7 like I do. It's just shocking. I'm in more, more in love than I was, and I loved it in stock form. But modded is, oh my God, listen to that sound. Woo! Awesomeness. But anyways, guys, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. That's why I do these videos to help incite community discussion. Make sure to hit thumbs up. Really helps my channel when you do. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit that little bell symbol so you get notified of my new videos. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I got some more build videos coming. Some more fun with this bike. I got, I got all kinds of videos. Get back. I got a Supermoto. I'm going to do another build video because I got on the Supermoto because I got to upgrade the alternator. That's something I've been wanting to do. And I need to fix that bike up, get that bike, maybe take it to the shop, maybe have them do a top in or, you know, get that. But I have it's been four years and I haven't done nothing. You know, I just done oil changes to the bike. But anyways, guys, look at that. Kicking my feet out like I got me a Harley Davidson. <laughs> Riding around town, revving the throttle like a fool, like I'm on a Harley. But anyways, guys catch you guys later i'm having fun on my mt07 deuces check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel book out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel book out moto